four months ago, I have an accident, a motorcycle accident, and since there I ha I've been having problem right here, mm -hmm. and pro uh, pain in my neck, and when I drive, I get, I look to the sides, I get this. I understand you experience pain over here, but especially here. You also mentioned about pain over here, and also around here as well. Exactly, yes. Follow me so far? Right. Yes. So, when I hear like that, especially this over here, especially the front part, okay, then I want to take a much more closer look, see what's going on in that sacral foundation. What's interesting, what you tell me is that when you're driving, you could, no problems looking forward, but the moment you try to look to the sides and you get very dizzy, that's what we call positional vertical. So there's two areas, regions in the neck we're going to take a closer look at. It's this lower part over here and the upper part over here. It's typically responsible for seeing a neurological formation to the cerebellum. And that's this part over here. That's the massive gyroscope in our brain. That tells us where we are in a 3D position. So if there's misinformation going into the brain due to either here or here, where the nerves are not functioning as well as it should, this gyroscope cannot get the appropriate information. Therefore, that's why you feel dizzy. Okay. So that's what we're gonna go for. All right, we already have something right here. This one's very subtle and small. So this is a chronic nerve, it's only one point to the left. How does it feel over here? Tender right there? Mm. Pain here? Yes. Yeah. What over here? Not, not, not as much. All right, so this is the fifth lumbar over here, and this is that second sacral segment. So over here, so what we're seeing over here is, this should be smooth over here. I don't want to see any swelling. And because this has been here for quite some time, it's not like when we have like a, when you just sprain your ankle, that's a more recent thing. And that's what swells up like a big balloon. But okay. when it's been there for quite some time, the swelling drains quite a bit. But what we still feel here, it's, it's like a marsh over here. Okay, it's very boggy. Okay. There is still fluid in this area over here. It's still swollen. It's just very, you know, it's been there for quite some time. So that already identifies your body's trying to protect something here still. Same story with this fellow over here. This one right here, tender. Yeah. yeah. See this one over here? This is also, it's been here for quite some time. It's not recent. So that's why it doesn't have a very big swelling. But it's still swollen over here, swollen over here. And then it goes into like a little ditch over here. Feel that? It just sinks right in, yeah. right at that spot. So again, does your body try to protect something right over this level? You feel this over here? Yeah. That's not moving. So you can tilt your head to the left. Feel that? Oh yeah. It doesn't move at all to the right. That fellow's just stuck. Same deal as well over here. Okay, there is, you, get, you got a little swelling over here, and it's old. It's been there for quite some time. Feel that over there? You have a muscle knot. Okay, yeah, because you I feel it there, play, right? Yeah. yeah, this is your muscle knots. So right now, the muscle knots on both sides try to stabilize because this over here is very unstable. That's why the muscle's tightening up to provide more stability. See this over here? You can tilt your head to the left. Yeah. See, not too much. But then again, this is not fully stuck either. This atlas is partially fixated. It's partially stuck. All f just from this fellow over here. So we have to restore this to get this first bone moving again. This is what's partly responsible for, <coughs> for that vertical, for that dizziness you're experiencing.
the very first bone, and then number six right over here. So we identified there's three structural problems going on. The foundation, that six dorsal, mid back, yes. mm -hmm. and then this one over here, base of your neck, six cervical. These three we need to correct today. This was more concerning, and that's the reason why you feel all that pain. What we did here is biomechanical measurements, zero to one millimeters, I don't care. Two to three, we may got something. Once it reaches seven millimeters or more, your body has a lot of trouble adapting, and you have 10 millimeters. Wow. So your body right now is, it's knocked out quite a bit this way. So your body, since your head has to go this way, everything else is twisting and rotating in place just to keep that in place. So that's what happened to the rest of your spine over here. So we need to correct this first over here. Restore the proper biomechanics. Correct number six, and that provides stability for your neck. And then number six itself, and that's gonna help with your vertigo. No, just relax. Just relax is normal. There you go. What's different about it? Okay. You mentioned this was painful. How is this now? I don't feel. Before when I go like this, mm -hmm. it was like tension. And how's it now? Now it's no more tension. Um, I don't know about here, mm -hmm. but here I feel lighter. Good. How's your vision right now? Um, I I see it's normal. So you see normal? Um, now I have to see how is it when I... It's fair enough. So I'll tell you what. On the next visit, okay, after you do your driving and all that stuff, fill us in on the next visit. Let us know how that's coming about. Okay. When I um, look to the sides, I'm, I'm not getting mm, no more dizzy. No more dizziness, huh? Yeah. Hey, that's great. Great, yes. Great. So well, thank you for the updates.